And thanks for joining us, everyone. Now let's shift our attention to the diplomatic row which may be brewing between Nigeria and Indonesia over the assault on a Nigerian diplomat. Well, the Indonesia ambassador, Usra Harapap, defended the action when he met with Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Jeffrey Onyama. Well, this is contrary to Nigeria's position that Indonesia has tendered apology on the issue. Well, Rafael Oni, editor-in-chief, Diplomats Extra magazine, joins us now to look at these issues. Thank you so much for joining us on this week. Well, um, based on that intro, uh, do you get a sense that maybe the Nigerian authorities really are not ready to, you know, wield uh, the big stick on Indonesia, considering the fact that Indonesia is, not, you know, well, Nigeria is actually Indonesia's second uh, biggest trade partner in Africa, followed, of course, um, you know, following South Africa. What do you make of all of this? Well, thank you for having me uh, this evening. The truth of the matter is, uh, it's not that the, uh, Niger Indonesia is, n is not ready to go Nigeria, where well, Nigeria is not ready to, uh, Nigeria is claiming. The fact remains that we met with the minister mm. and he explained that he met the, when this thing came up, he met with the Indonesia ambassador who explained the role of what, ha what transpired. And at the long run, he, he explained that an apology was tender from both parties. The mm. fact remains that we, we, are, we as journalists, we, I keep asking questions. It is not about just breaking the news. Break it the way it's supposed to be. We just saw a portion of the video. What actually led to that portion? Those are the things we should talk about. Yeah, let's, let's even talk about that. Because the Indonesian ambassador actually, you know, defended the assault on the Nigerian uh, diplomat saying that he brought it on himself. He was simply asked to present his ID card. Yes. And he would not. What, uh, when you say defended, it shows as you are saying he is being justified. Mm. No, from the report, from what we had, what the minister also in, informed the, the press, he said the and when we, based on the report he had from our ambassador, yes. he said the man was accosted, was stopped. We, mm. I asked him specifically where that this happened. He's on the streets where mm. the people were carrying out when the Indonesian immigration were carrying out legitimate uh, uh, check. Yeah, but right in yeah. front of his diplomatic residence. Uh, no, is the, that the norm? The minister in said yeah. on the streets. On the streets. On the streets. Now? He just said on the <laughs> streets. Now we now ask, how? What? What happened? Yeah. So the man did not initially present his his uh, ID card. Mm -hmm. He uh, the minister said he offered to follow them to their office. Yes. Which he entered the vehicle, but along the, the line, mm -hmm. they along the line he said. He assumed that they passed his place. They passed where they supposed to stop the immigration. That it is at that point that he he resisted. He put up uh, a resistance. So that resistance is what we should define. How was it? Was it gentle? Yeah. Was it a, a gentle was it, one? Was it physical? Was it with physical? The who, that you is know, it. Yeah. that's the question now. Uh, to actually understand this, we need the man to be on ground, our diplomat to be on ground, and we need the other party to be on ground. Mm -hmm. Certainly, the position of the government is that w if it, is, it has happened this way, we will not take it. And let's okay. be realistic. Yeah. As a diplomat, you have a diplomatic immunity. Quite mm -hmm. okay. Yes. But that you have diplomatic immunity does not give you the lances to misbehave. Nobody the has question accused then him. would be if the Nigerian diplomat actually misbehaved. Did That's he, what we're saying. Did he deserve the treatment certainly no, no human being deserves such treatment not let's even keep the issue of being a diplomat mm. no human being deserves such treatment is inhuman mm. but the question now is that what led to that incident well i mean we can you know uh, come up with all kinds of scenarios of what led to you know the, this the event so, but let's even look at the implications of a breakup in diplomatic relations you know between nigeria and indonesia considering the fact that uh, well the figures have been put in terms of the economic value of nigeria's relationship with indonesia around four billion dollars 
what do you think are the implications apart from the economic impact that this could have? Uh, I, I love that question, but let me answer it this way. Mm. The fact remains that Nigeria said we are going to take action. Doesn't mean we are going to break up. To break up a relationship, it entails a lot of things. Mm. We, we, Nigeria and Indonesia, we, we enjoy a lot of diplomatic ties. Uh, we are both members of the, of the developing aid. To, mm. We are together in it. So when, then this issue now, we've asked a lot of questions. The fact remains that it's between individuals. It's between not government. The, but if it's not properly handled, it, it could escalate to, you know, an issue between um, countries. Yes. After diplomacy. So how should, in this, diplomacy, how should this now be handled in a way that will satisfy both Nigeria and Indonesia? Yes. In diplomacy, after the after consultation, there's consultation. After consultation, there's consultation. Mm -hmm. So to handle it diplomatically, we need to understand the, the basics. And don't forget that we are being both guided by the Vienna Convention. And yeah. the Vienna Convention mm -hmm. gives a diplomat right. Yes. So this has been violated, which is properly... And those rights did not protect Abdurrahman Ibrahim in Jakarta. That's the fundamental issue here. In spite of the fact that, you know, the Vienna Convention protects him, gives him immunity from this kinds of ill treatment. Yes. He was still exposed. He was still vulnerable. It's, it's a pity it happened that way. I, I, we, we, we are, you are not there, I'm not there. But based on the report of the minister, yeah. he said Nigeria have received a thorough that we're going to follow. We are, he's expecting, I'm sure the, 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 our ambassador is in the, he should be in Nigeria now. Yes. He's expecting the ambassador yes. to come and table things. It's, it's quite different from what you hear from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. Then Nigeria will now know where to stand. But I don't think this has involved a top, it's top level, that is, I assume it's a top level uh, personality that is involved. Mm -hmm. Government, uh, when I mean top level, the minister, the uh, yeah. top government official. So, to be, be, you know, government oh, my, to government. Okay, now, what should Nigeria be demanding from the Indonesian authorities? It's clear. An apology? An Would apology. an apology be enough? An apology, yes, to set precedent. Because if you don't, deserve an apology mm -hmm. the proper way and that it will happen again and we the, the minister we uh, a question what, was what put would to be him. the proper way an apology to nigeria and an apology to the nigerian you know the diplomatic uh, staff staff yes from uh, from the from the finding we made there have been a, a, a kind of synergy between the two the Jakarta, the, uh, the, the immigration office uh, the minister of foreign affairs in jakarta mm. has met with our embassy and they made uh, a consult. They made they discussed, mm -hmm. and the both party apologized. Okay, I'm sorry the way I talked to you. This the other person responded. I'm mm -hmm. sorry the way I handled you. That is mm -hmm. what has been ta on table. But now it has come to the public domain. They cannot. It's, it's not. It's no longer. It's beyond them now. Okay. Even though they try to settle on their own, because the Indonesia uh, uh, ambassador explained to the minister that they they tried to mediate. Mm -hmm. the, when our ambassador arrived immediate and the whole thing and every both party apologized and they even yeah. took handshake but now it has gone to the public domain is beyond them so apologies should also come officially okay um let's go back to what led to this uh, you know situation where an indonesian official actually you know was wounded there are pictures showing that he was bloodied you know in the face how really ideally should nigerian diplomatic officials conduct themselves in this kinds of situation whether it's in indonesia or wherever else that your diplomat does not stop the uh, blood from running in your vein mm. the minister explained that our uh, diplomat was being taken he entered the vehicle with them and said okay i'm going with you to your office and he assumed they passed the office that at that point in time, he was agitated. Yes, you, you, you did make that point. Yes. But I, I'm trying to find out exactly what the ideal situation is or should be. In a situation where a diplomat finds himself, you know, in any country in the world, and authorities are asking, you know, law enforcement or whoever, you know, approach the diplomat 
and they're asking for his identification. Yes. What should be the response from the Nigerian uh, diplomat? He should have done. Uh, uh, the response should be tender what they require. And assuming it was tendered, it may not have happened. Let me give you a little scenario. Mm. There was a time I was traveling with Dean uh, Sing Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. I got to the airline early. I was to fly on Japan airline. I immediately I hand over my passport to the officer. The next thing I noticed was this one, hand over my passport to the next person. They took over 45 minutes. I was standing there just because I'm a Nigerian. At the long run, he came back, said, we are sorry. He said, the man said, I'm sorry for delaying you. I said, no, I'm a Nigerian, so I, I, I require special treatment. That's why he treated me this way. He said, what? I said, I'm special. Instead of me to feel bad, I push it back to him. But I didn't allow the thing to come on me. To make you lose your time. Yes, your it's annoying. But as a human being, you are at a certain point in time. And be, 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 Is it a reflection of how Nigerians are now being treated in foreign lands? Well, uh, I, will not, I will not agree with you totally okay. that is, it is. Because uh, we, I, I'm not a diplomat, uh, 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 right. I'm not a Nigerian, but I okay. happen to travel as a diplomatic reporter all, uh, everywhere. All over. And uh, when you comport yourself with, the, with my okay. involvement, I've not, been, I've not experienced such a thing. Thank you so much, Rafael O'Neill, Editor-in-Chief, uh, Diplomat Extra Magazine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.